yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in on some shit real quick, man. Detroit rapper, self-made cash, arrested by the feds on credit card fraud, identity theft, and a multiple thing of other charges. Uh, I, I want to be clear. I don't like to come into other cities' politics and this and that and, you know, act like I notice everything that's going on in another city or with they artists. I, I could just go off of what I've seen. If you follow this channel or you follow me on, on my social media sites, you will know that a nigga is a big fan of Detroit rap culture, the whole sound, the whole movement. Like I say, I'm a fan of they shit, so I don't get the, you know, because I post a lot of Detroit shit. I don't want to be that nigga that come in and, and make it seem like, hey, I'm trying to take over they lane to cover they news, but I fuck with the, the movement out there. Them niggas be rapping. Them niggas got good music. I fuck with the whole, the hustle, everything. Uh, Self-made cash, though. I've actually posted some of his music to the uh, to my blog page, my Instagram page, Urban Politicians TV. Uh, Y'all go tap into that. And I posted some of his videos before, man, and... You know, I've looked at his Instagram because I at the Instagram when I post a video. And I will say that at times I did feel that, hey, this nigga kind of going a little bit too hard with, the you know, promoting the credit card fraud. Like, it's one thing to promote shit in your music. Like, hey, the music is entertainment. But when you get on social media and it's like you letting it know, like you bragging about it. You want everybody to know you do credit card fraud. It's like, damn nigga, they don't even got to really do no work. Like, you telling niggas you got this and this for sale online. I understand you reach more people on the internet, but it was kind of like one of them things, man, where he was kind of like, hey, I want niggas to notice what I do and I'm a rap about it. And it's like, hey, I'm really living that lifestyle that I rap about, which I don't knock that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we can't be, you know, in this culture of hip hop, man, we can't leave that paper trail for these niggas like that. Because when you swipe in these stoles, when you swipe at these, you know, when you create this shit, that you all, that's one thing about credit card. The difference between credit card fraud and dope dealing, I think one of the biggest differences is, right, if the police ain't watching you, if you hit a lick on, on some trap shit, uh, once you hit that lick, you drive off, you good. You know what I'm saying? That's if the police ain't watching you. You're not leaving a paper trip. They're not watching you or the nigga you doing business with. You're not leaving no paper trail, but with that credit card fraud, man, these numbers is going into these computers and 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 you niggas going to these stores, they on camera, they going to these ATM machines and the people they talk to, all this shit be getting left behind with a paper trail. So you got to kind of tread lightly with that shit if that's your hustle, you know what I'm saying? I don't knock nobody on what they do to live, you know, get it how you live. But I know you got to make it hard for these niggas, bro. Niggas got to stop getting online and letting it be known exactly what they do for a living if it's not legal. You know what I'm saying? I think certain shit you just got to keep to yourself, you know. And he just, like, really played with the imagery heavy. That nigga was bragging about that shit, showing that shit off. <laughs> All the shit, dark web. Then he giving niggas tutorials on how to do this shit. That's crazy as fuck. Like, and you know, you spread the boom, man. You ball, and it was like, hey, I'm gonna go down as a swiper. That's what he was, uh, you know, scam god. He called himself the scam god, and then he even had the, you know, the credit card chain. And I was like, that was different. You know what I'm saying? But on the flip side of it, now you going to go do some time. They talking about up to twenty years. I want I want to give my opinion on that. You know what I'm saying? Before we get up out of here off this topic, I don't feel like he gonna get 20 years, man. You know, Bandman Kebo out of Chicago. That nigga got he ran like 700 thousand up. That nigga um got like two and a half. White collar crime do not carry a lot of time. You gonna sit on. You gonna do some time. But even like I hear why I'm in Ace Time. White collar crime is big everywhere, but it ain't as big in the urban community in age time as it is in other cities in the urban community. Now, I understand what I'm saying. It is motherfucking white-collar crime that go on in Houston, in the ghetto, in the streets, fraud, all that shit. But I'm saying the, the ratio of niggas that do it in other cities ain't as big, it's bigger in other cities than it is in Houston with the urban hood niggas community. You know what I'm saying? A lot of hood niggas 
and gangsters and hood niggas do not do credit card fraud or, or white collar crime in Houston. That's just what it is. You got a few, but it ain't they just up there like that. But, you know, I, I know what white collar crime ain't. That's one of them things. It don't carry a lot of time. I'm telling you that right now. Unless you just on some large scale pulling these these goddamn grand larceny ass motherfucking out of finesse these investors out of uh, 10, 20 million type shit. But just swiping in them stalls and running up them numbers on the dark web and, and, and all that type of shit and fake accounts and shit, man, that shit don't really carry that much time like that. White people been doing that shit forever and they get caught doing that shit and they barely get a slap on the fucking wrist. And like I say, man, my personal opinion, white collar crime is 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 better than selling dope because, nigga, you get caught with, with 100,000 worth of white collar crime type shit, nigga, your sentence is going to be way less than that nigga who get caught with 100,000 worth of dope. That's just what it is, man. Urban Politicians TV. Man, you know, self-made cash. You know, this ain't really no bashing video, man. Niggas do what they do. Niggas learn from their mistakes, man. He ain't kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? The money going to get credited back and everything. So, you know, free that man, man. Give him another shot at this shit. Let him come home do this rap shit, man. Shout out to that whole Detroit. Subscribe to the channel. Follow the Instagram, Urban Politicians, Big Ant 56, Urban Politicians TV. Tap in with us, man. 100.